It's been three years since the end of the world. I don't remember the last time I really talked to another person. It gets lonely out here sometimes. When everything first started, it was just my sister Ava and me barely scraping by. It's funny how quickly humans make bad situations worse. We learned early on to avoid other people. Sometimes they're like you, just trying to stay alive in this hell, but it's not worth the few times we were almost killed for our food, or simply for Ava. Despite the circumstances, life was good with Ava. We understood each other on a level that required almost no communication, food, Water, shelter, never stay in one place. These were the only things that mattered anymore, so talking lost its usefulness. I still don't know what happened to her. I remember falling out a two-story window and hitting my head while trying to escape a house we got cornered in. But when I woke up, she was gone. I've tried to pretend she isn't dead, but it's a lie I can't keep up with. Since then, I've met a few groups here and there, but nobody I've stuck with for very long. I guess it was long enough into the apocalypse that the murderers and rapists had all killed each other because I haven't seen any since Ava left. The group I'm in now is just like the rest, not too big, but always changing. People come and go, faces change, it doesn't really matter, I don't even know any of their names, we all know it's pointless to connect, we've all lost Ava's. Today, my group found a locked up farmhouse we managed to break into. We all split up without so much as a look to see if we could find any unspoiled food. I took upstairs. Wondering if maybe I just fell out of a window again, I could end this hell once and for all. I walked around to the master bedroom, which had the biggest window. I could feel the light summer breeze on my face as I looked out over the old farm. The air felt so nice as if telling me it was okay to jump, to finally rest. That's when I realized I wasn't alone. With the voice of someone who hadn't spoken in years, I heard my name. J Jeremy? I whipped around, still recognizing the rusty voice of my sister. She was holding a baseball bat defensively in the corner of the room. Her eyes began to swell with tears as she let her weapon fall to the ground. Jeremy, I'm so sorry. I couldn't believe my eyes. I wish things had happened differently. I felt like sobbing. We should have been more careful. I just wanted to die. I'm too tired. I just want to rest. I watched her eyes close. I love you, Jeremy. My mind shattered as I sunk my rotting teeth into her delicious flesh. <laughs>